Hello everyone, welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to create these fake sun rays. I got a strong version and a bit of a softer version, and I'll show you how to do that. It should take about one or two minutes at the most. Okay, so we've got this nice picture here. Let's add some sun rays. First step, hang on down here to the bottom, hit the bottom, go to gradient. We're going to add a gradient. It's going to default to a black to transparent gradient. We just want to shop for one that's kind of orange to red. So I'm going to select something like this. You guys can select whatever colors you want. You can also change the gradient manually by double clicking on these stops and just changing the color a little. So those are the two ways to do it. Okay, good. So there we go. We've got our gradient. We're going to switch the style from linear to angle. Very, very important. And now we're going to go ahead and click on this little rectangle beside gradient so we can go in and make some more changes. Now, the first change you want to make is you want to change the type from solid to noise. And once you do that, you'll start to see the streaky lines coming through. You know we're on the right track. Change the roughness from 50% to 100%. Now you'll definitely know we're on the right track, although it looks kind of psychedelic. Don't worry about that for now. Now we're going to go ahead and restrict the colors. So we're going to restrict the colors. We're going to add transparency. So we're going ahead and we're moving along, adding in some restrictions. The next step is very important. Change the color model from RGB, which is red, green, blue, to HSB, which is hue, saturation, and brightness. Now we're working on the HSB side of things. Take this little triangle and just move it into the yellow orangey area. So you'll see here I've kind of got it into the yellows and maybe move this one up a little bit. And we're just kind of get some color in here, but we want to restrict it to the yellows, the reds, and the white kind of palette. Something like that looks pretty good. Click on OK. All right, now we're cooking. The next step here is I'm going to go ahead and click OK on the gradient fill here. And now I'm going to change the blending mode right here from normal. We're going to go all the way down to color dodge. When you do that, presto, we've got some pretty wild look here. Now this might not be what you're looking for entirely, so I'm going to right click on the outside here where it says gradient fill one. I'm going to right click and I am going to go ahead and convert that into a smart object. Because once I do that, you'll see that I've got some boundaries on the edges here. Now I'm just going to zoom out and I'm going to sort of pull this up. And I don't know, I'm going to place this maybe somewhere around here, depending on, of course, what you want your, uh, where you want your light rays to go. Maybe we'll just expand it. What the heck? I mean, honestly, do whatever you guys think is best. Um, yeah, something like that. Okay, whatever. Something like that. Good. Now we're going to go ahead and reduce the opacity a little bit from like 100% to 50. Yeah, let's go to about 45. 50%? Sure, something like that. And then if you if it's still not quite where you want it, you want it a little bit more blurred and diffused, you can just go ahead and go down here and go to, uh, pardon me, go to filter, go to blur, go to Gaussian blur. And now we're just adding in a blur to give it a little bit more of a natural look. And then you can just dial the blur up as you see fit, something like that, for example. And presto, we've added in sun rays. Off, on. Thanks for watching. 